Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, no, I'm not doing an update just yet on our solar power system, but what I am going to do today is talk about a couple of the things that use a lot of energy in our home. Uh, a lot of the things in, in our electric home that are high energy consumers uh, would be like our, our clothes dryer, um, the, the washing machine, and our water heater, and our dishwasher, our, our built-in dishwasher. Those are some of the highest energy consumers in our home. So my wife over time has decided that um, she wanted to put up a clothesline. So I did. I put up a clothesline right here on the on the solar panels. Uh, you may have seen that in a previous video. But uh, today we're going to install one that's uh, a little more professional, a little more usable and quite a bit larger. One of the things we have learned about using uh, solar power and living this, this somewhat off grid lifestyle is that using solar power there are certain times of the day that we want to use different appliances it's a little tricky to get used to but it's really not hard so for example you know when the sun's not generating it's not putting in any energy back into our batteries one of the things that we really want to do is limit our our power consumption at night and our drain on our on our batteries so we've learned that uh, running the dishwasher drying clothes uh, those kind of things we try to do in the daylight hours while uh, while the sun's out and generating power for us. So, but today's project is installing a clothesline. All right, so you may be able to see above me. There's a, a line right here. I just ran this this clothesline literally between all the poles on our on our uh, solar array up here, and she's been doing a great job hanging the clothes and things up there. But these kind of lines tend to sag over time and just really not enough space to hang things up. So what we did, and we've actually had this for a while and just haven't been able to put it up, is we purchased from Skyline Enterprises a clothesline system. So we're going to be installing this clothesline system today. We did buy the large uh, pulley clothesline kit and I'll show you the pieces that that comes with, but we did get the, get the large one. So. Um, Let's get started and I'll show you those parts that this comes with. All right, so what it comes with are two pulleys. There's one for each end. The one we're gonna use at the lower end is the one that has the lock on it so that we can lock it in place. It also comes with this uh, bracket right here that holds these spacers that go on the line. It comes with the large one, the large system comes with 150 feet of this cable. It is steel cable with this uh, plastic coating on it, so it's designed to last for a really long time. This is the pulley that goes on the other system. What it doesn't come with is hardware. For example, for us, we're going to be attaching this end to a tree, so it doesn't come with hardware for attaching it. Which kind of makes sense, because you never know how people are going to want to put them up. And for the end on our uh, solar power array, I've got this little setup here. So, uh, pretty simple. A uh, couple of tools I've got laid out here. I have a 916 wrench, and that is to install the, this U-bolt bracket to go around the pole. And then I have half-inch brackets. This piece right here that holds those tensioners when they're not in use, kind of keeps them in, stored up here, will go in this bolt. So I'll need to take that off and install that. And a drill. I'm going to dr use the 3 uh, drill bit to drill a, a hole a little bit smaller diameter than this. Uh, in order to get that into the tree more easily. So I did forget to mention I also bought these um, these clips and put it on this U bracket right here. That's going to actually be what goes around that uh, the pulley set setup. So I'm going to take these nuts off, put it around our post, and um, the trick my dad taught me was to never tighten everything up completely until you've got everything in place and make sure it all fits. So I'm just going to put this on here and get our clamp roughly in place. And then we'll tighten everything up if I can keep from dropping all the, keep from dropping all the parts. So we're just gonna get this put on like so. And then I'm gonna tighten this up on here and make sure that this holds on well and will clamp tightly. Now this clamp will probably bend a little bit because I have this, this large carabiner on here, but I kind
kind of want to get that so that it's facing the direction I want it to face and I also need this to be low enough that my wife can reach it uh, reach it pretty easily so we're gonna put this like uh, I'm about 510 so I'm gonna put this about six feet or so so she can easily reach it and it'll be kind of maneuver this around and point it towards the tree that it's actually going to be secure to on the other end so got this piece on there pretty much where I want it may have to adjust that a little bit I'm going to tighten those down just a little bit with my 9 16 just to make sure it doesn't move while we're trying to set it up so I've got my handy ratchet wrench here not real tight right now I just want to make sure that this will be secure and hold everything in place while I while I work on putting it up so again the idea here is that this piece right here will go just like that okay so this is the first pulley. Again, this is the one with the lock on it. And we're going to get this um, assembly put up in the tree right over there. anchor bolt or eye bolt started in there and I've got a large screwdriver I'm going to use to help me with a little bit of leverage to finish threading that into the tree. Alright, the next part is to put this bracket that holds the tensioner on, so I've taken the bolt out and the nut, so I'm just going to slide this on. I have to squeeze these together a little bit to get the nut back on. And then we will tighten this up. be able to move but I, so I don't want to over tighten it but I do need it on there so it's everything's not wobbling around too much there we go that should just about do it these are lock nuts so they're not gonna they're not gonna come back out I think that's pretty good all right so next I'm going to run the cable through so you start from the bottom put it between the spacer and the pulley same thing at the top run it through the spacer and the pulley Bring it around the pulley all the way like so and then we'll pull this all the way across to the pulley at the other end. Same thing up here there's these two there's two little loops that this goes through so we're going to put it through that loop around the top of the pulley through the one at the bottom and then we're ready to take it back to the other side. Alright, so I've got it pulled through both pulleys, so it's going around this pulley, the one in the tree, and then they have these tensioner clamps like this that are really cool. We use these on our grapevines to pull cables tight and stuff. 
there's a, a hole, there's two holes in this. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to push the cable through here. I'm going to pull this as tight as I can by hand and get as much slack out of it as I can by hand just by pulling the, pulling this all the way through. So we'll get it about like so. It's about as tight, that cable's heavy. So about as tight as I can pull it by hand without twisting me or it. So then I'm going to take my, I think this should be 9 sixteenths. This is a 9 sixteenths pulley and I can tighten this up. Just for security, since there's a second hole in this, I'm going to take the other end of the cable and put it through the other hole, since there's two there. And that way, that way it will be doubly secure. This won't come loose at all. And then we'll tension it up. Make sure I get my fingers out of the mix there. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now I can use the ratchet and, and tighten that up to whatever amount it needs to be. So my wonderful counterpart decided to get involved here. So she has helped by raising it up. She's standing on a chair, raise it up to the level that she wants it at. A chair. A chair sinking in the mud and the fire ants, which we still <laughs> have to kill fire. using a previous video technique. But uh, tighten I don't the one, know. On, the, I have the, one on the left more, to keep them even. The one on the right is not, a, the one on the left is not enough. Yeah, keep going up. So we're just tightening that up. We have the- We're bending the- Yeah, that's okay if it bends, it'll just be nice and tight. So, got everything in place. Uh-oh, I have made a mistake. We've got to take the cable back off and put on one of the hangers. One of the hangers, these spacers, is supposed oh, to go on this. So down we go. Poop. Blooper. All right, so back to the drawing board here. When I ran the cable through this pulley, what I forgot to do was to put the line spacers on. So these line spacers keep the, keep the uh, cable at the right distance apart so basically they just ride on the cable like this so we've got three of them one two three and when I'm, when we put the cable back on there one of those will go around that ratchet piece to hold it in place so I'm going to stretch the rest of that cable out now that I've got the spacers on there all right so what we did is we put the cable back on so we could put these um, spacers in the right place. The one going out on the line hooks right on there and the other two stay here under the bracket we installed to hold them in place until you're ready to send them out on the line for spacing, right? So as you go out that line, all the way out that line, these will keep the space between these so it doesn't sag, sag or pinch. So. Now we're gonna raise it back up and tighten up our bolts and get it all in place and go from there. It's still too, too tight a little bit. Bins are gonna have to straight um, tight tighten it every once in a while. It's good and tight, doesn't have to be overly bent, but there we go. There it is. Now I'm gonna cut off the excess cable and finish tightening it up um, with the ratchet. Is this the same ratchet you um, Yeah, that's the 916. That's the big one. So I'm gonna cut this cable. Hopefully, this will cut it well. Oh, do a, a little link on it. Actually, need some wire cutters. The bolt cutters don't want. Get it at the end, not at the at the tip. Oh, come on! 
I know it's ru it's rubber, and these are made for solid metal, and this is stranded wire, so that's not going to cut it. I'll have uh -huh. to get some bolt cutters, some uh, wire cutters, and see if that'll do it. Might want to re redo that. So, as you can see, the bolt cutters didn't cut this well, but my wire cutters, these are some pretty heavy wire cutters, they will they will cut it. So we're going to cut that excess wire off, like so, and then we're going to ratchet that tighter. I say. I say I'm going to ratchet this tighter. Oh, the, the extra piece of line is in my way. I gotta get that line out all the way through. There we go. Like that. So just ratchet that up to the tension that you need it. You are good to go. All right, so there it is. All finished, we've got everything tightened up. Everything is in place. And so now this will go out and keep the, keep the line tensioner in place. So when you get a bunch of clothes on there, if there's, any, if there's any sag in the line, you let one of these go out with the line. And that keeps everything where it should be. So it's nice and secure to the tree. Let's see if I can zoom in on that guy over there. Nice and secure in the tree. The line runs all the way across there. That is about 67 feet for us. Again, that cable is 150 feet long. So you got was. plenty of space. It was. I got a little bit of extra. We'll use it for some rope. other project. Jump rope, I tell you. Jump rope. There we go.